The National Steering Committee on Media Monitoring is deeply concerned over the insecurity events during the week and the manner in which the media carried reports and pictures of those incidents. The committee says the media items directly or indirectly perpetuated hate speech. The National Steering Committee on Media Monitoring condemns in the strongest terms possible the hate speech on sabahionlight.com which bloggers are using to incite a section of Kenyans to a violent response to the killing of Islamic cleric Abod Rogo. We are also very, very concerned and condemn the publication of the picture of a dead man in an edition of one of yesterday's dailies. The picture elicited violent responses, which we believe will build up negatively and have an undesirable bearing towards the two 2013 uh, general elections. The committee has also sound a warning on vernacular radio stations which are accused from using coded language that is easily abused. Now we are asking presenters in vernacular stations to distance themselves from their stories. They're using the word we, we, we and this shows them to be taking sides when reporting or interviewing guests in their studios. We wish to remind them that bias is a definite no-no and their stories must exhibit balance and proper research if we, were, if we are to go into peaceful elections. At the same time, police have distanced themselves from the death of controversial Muslim cleric Abu Drogo, who was shot dead on Monday in Mombasa. Deputy Police Spokesperson Charles Owino said that investigations will be carried to apprehend the killers of Sheikh Abu. Dead men feel no pain. And therefore, it is meaningless taking the life of an individual that allegedly has been involved in the death of other people. It would be to our interest that the person lived and, if convicted, feels the pain as he lives, but not when the person is uh, dead. We would wish to state that this death uh, is not in any way connected to uh, the Kenya police. Mr. Weno, however, warned against the wanton killings of police officers, saying that the police will deal mercilessly with anybody trying to push them to the wall. Continuous attacks on security agencies would depict that we are weak and we are not competing with anybody. So we say the adults who are uh, inciting the children, we are going to use all means to smoke you out and make sure that this is not repeated again. It is important that we realize that security is paramount and every Kenyan has a right to live wherever he's living and also has a right to uh, his life and his property. A police officer was killed on Tuesday in Mombasa as riots entered day two. Protesters were accusing the police of not protecting the late Abu Drogo, who was an Al-Shabaab suspect. Violet Makendo, GBS News.